While the original run of LEGO Pirates wrapped up in 1997, LEGO was not done with the property just yet, as in 2001, LEGO re-released the Redbeard Runner, Armada Flagship, and the Enchanted Island, and Redbeard made a small appearance in a LEGO Studios set. Then, in 2002, LEGO brought back the most iconic pirate ship to date, the Black Seas Barracuda. But it wasn't until 2004 that LEGO finally moved away from the classic style, as Pirates returned that year with a brand new look. This time, instead of having its own theme, Pirates came back as a sub-theme of LEGO's 4 Plus slash 4 Juniors theme. And while this lineup of sets and 4 Plus figures are quite hideous, these two belong to the LEGO Pirates property. And for that reason, I'll be going into LEGO's cursed pirate theme on today's episode of LEGO Pirates Retrospect. The 4 Plus Pirates theme saw the return of Captain Redbeard who looked quite different. Between his debut in 4 plus figure form, along with his red outfit, and the absence of any sort of hook hand, it's safe to assume that the 4 plus pirates theme serves as a sort of prequel, if we're to include it in the overall LEGO pirate lore. As always, he had a different ship, this time the Hurricane, which was manned by a brand new crew. Joining Redbeard was Jolly Jack Crow, Cannonball Jimmy, and Harry Hardtack, the crew's cook. In the 4 Plus sub-theme, Redbeard was pitted against Captain Crag for control of a map, one that led to Don Cortez's treasure. Captain Crag, who was Roger's estranged brother, had one half of the map, whereas Redbeard had the other. As children, the two brothers had discovered the map, but while fighting over it, the map was torn in half, with each brother keeping one half. Thus, both wanted the full map as without it, Don Cortez's treasure would remain undiscovered. In addition to Redbeard, Crag had his own ship, and a small band of pirates, made up of Scurvy Dog and Drake Dagger. Now, if we're to assume that this 4 plus pirate sub-theme is a prequel to classic pirates, I wouldn't be surprised if Don Cortez's treasure may in fact be the Spanish doubloons that were ultimately discovered by the Imperial soldiers. We know that this treasure was once in the possession of Redbeard's ancestors, and perhaps they were the ones that buried it, maybe after they stole it from Don Cortez. Is this a possibility? It certainly is. And by the way, that monkey included in these sets. Is that by any chance Spinoza? I wouldn't be surprised. Unfortunately though, the limited lore provided once again leaves this story in the hands of the fans. See, this pirate's theme as a whole was quite limited, which is unsurprising when you consider the fact that it was merely a sub-theme of LEGO's 4 Plus theme. Out of the 10 sets released, four of them were barely anything other than a 4 plus figure. For the other six sets, there was Treasure Island, Catapult Raft, Pirate Dock, and Skull Island, as well as Crag and Redbeard's ships. While these sets may have resembled many classic pirate sets in name, they did not look like any of the pirate sets released in the 1990s. These sets were simple. They were chunky builds, all with low piece counts, as these sets included a lot of large LEGO pieces, which simplified the building process. Similar to LEGO's 4 plus sets that are on shelves today, this sub-theme was obviously targeted at young builders, which probably explains why there wasn't much effort put into the lore. While these sets were released alongside two comic books, both stories lacked any sort of dialogue, as both books were made up of a few hand-drawn pictures depicting the pursuit of Don Cortez's treasure both crews were on. Last but not least, there was also the Search for the Pirates Treasure board game, which LEGO released in collaboration with Rosart. But this board game lacks any sort of references to any sort of LEGO pirate lore, and it did not include any LEGO pieces either. Sadly, that's where this era of LEGO pirates ends. This sub-theme did not return in 2005, as the entire 4 plus theme wrapped up at the end of 2004. And in many ways, this era is a forgotten part of LEGO Pirates. Sure, the sets were not anything special, and the lore is far from great. But regardless, the 4 plus LEGO Pirates era should still be recognized as a part of the history of LEGO Pirates. Looking back, it's evident that LEGO Pirates was going through a bit of an identity crisis. After the classic Pirates era wrapped up in 1997, between the set re-releases and this 4 plus sub-theme, LEGO did not know what to do with Pirates for a period of time. But as we look back on Pirates, I think it's a silly move to ignore this theme. Was it perfect? 
No, but it too left its mark on the Lego Pirates property. 